Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our legs. I am going to take it a little bit on lesser side of the intensity because I am not feeling the best. I got a little bit of upset stomach. I am just recovering from that. That's the reason there was a delay in uploading the video for two days. But I am feeling great now. Straight away I am going to start with my greatest stretch. Five repetitions on the each side. I'm going to speed up the video. I'm pretty sure by now you have already learned how to do this stretch. We do this every day before our pre before our workout, like a pre-workout, like a mobility drill, ensuring we unlock our entire body for the exercises which we are going to do. Now make sure you feel the stretch throughout the body as you go through the stretches. You don't have to do it at a very high speed. Take your couple of minutes and do it at a slow paced manner. Again, five repetitions each side. For my second mobility drill, I am going to do the deep squat with a little bit of weight shifting onto my ankles. Now here, previously I did use a weight plate or a bit of uh, a kettlebell or a dumbbell which you can do if you are capable of controlling yourself. If not, just do it like I am doing with my body weight. The reason why I haven't taken a weight here today is because my left leg since the last video feels a little bit of a uh, little bit locked up i have been foam rolling but still it's a bit tight so i did not take a weight i chose to just do the drill without any kind of weight for the next drill we are going to do the hip openers again five repetitions each side the usual one which we do always make sure this time you hold a weight if not it's absolutely all right just ensure that your knees go way ahead of your toes to feel that inner thigh stretch the focus here is to feel the stretch on the inner thigh on the leg which is uh, the feet up leg basically not the knee down one knee down one yes you would feel a little bit of stretch but the more focus is on the side which we are trying to push now after this i've done a new drill which is basically the 90 degrees hip drill which you must have seen in multiple videos it's a great one to ensure that we open our hips for any kind of squatting or lunging movements as you can see it is pretty simple you have to sit down making a 90 degree with both your legs and then slowly twist on each side five repetitions is absolutely fine if you're unable to do it with hands in the air you can take your support of your hands on the floor if you want to progress this, you can hold on to a weight with your hands to make it a little bit more challenging. But otherwise, this is absolutely fine the way I am doing it. Now, after doing this particular exercise, if you feel any kind of discomfort near your outer thigh or the inner thighs, make sure you do a little bit of foam rolling before we jump into our warm-up exercises. For my warm-up, I am going to do two sets, 12 repetitions of squats. Here, instead of an empty barbell, I just chose to put a little bit more weight to feel the uh, weight moving on my shoulders because the empty barbell was feeling too light. So I just chose to put a little bit of weight, 5 kilos. It's just an absolute personal choice. There's nothing uh, serious uh, logic behind that. I just chose to put some weight. You can absolutely do it without weight, without a barbell or do it just with an empty barbell. It's absolutely fine. I just took 30 seconds break in between since it's only a warm up and while doing this particular warm up is when I realized that my left leg is really locked up especially my outer thigh I'm going to work on it I'm going to do few things which ensure that it gets back to normal which I'll be sharing in the uh, future videos of what I'm doing but otherwise one thing for sure is foam rolling and second thing is static stretches every day uh, after getting up and before going to sleep on the days when I'm not working on my legs to ensure that the uh, muscle regains its neutral length. It's basically a little bit tight, my outer thigh right now. So for that reason, what I have done is I chose to do a progressive overload uh, method. We usually start with the cha most challenging weight first, but this time I chose to go with the progressive overload. Now, in this particular exercise, while we are working multiple muscles, one of the muscles which we are focusing mainly is our quad muscles. Our quad muscles, the way I have again put an anatomical video explaining or 
showing you how our quad muscles contract as our knee straightens so as we sit down they stretch and as we stand up they contract because our knees straight uh, straighten up so i hope this gives you a bit bit better understanding here the multiple muscles are working uh, don't let the thought fly away that your hamstrings and glutes are not working because they are too but i just happen to show you the quads how they contract now while doing this particular squat movement we have done this previously also due to the tightness in my left leg i chose to go a little bit of wider stance otherwise you can just keep about shoulder width stance with your toes facing outwards i went a little bit wide to give me a little bit uh, give myself a little bit more space in terms of my hip opening otherwise i was feeling a lot of load on my left leg so few small things which i keep doing to in you know keep doing the exercise while not compromising my form this time i chose to put the camera in front of me to show you how i breathe in before going for the rep and brace my core i push my stomach out and brace as if someone is going to punch me in my stomach which i have i did mention in my previous videos also but i'll keep mentioning it before every rep and once i come back up is when i'm going to breathe out to let the air out i you may also breathe out with your mouth because it's more effective way of expelling all the carbon dioxide but you can do it with your nose also if you're doing it at a lighter weight if it is not very challenging if you're doing it at a heavier weight use your mouth to breathe out but use your nose predominantly to breathe in and out as at least to breathe in and you know bracing that core always breathe in with your stomach let the diaphragm expand under your lungs push your stomach out and then brace your stomach strongly even if someone is going to punch you can take that punch in your stomach what does this do this basically creates a tight environment around your spine all core muscles tighten so your spine doesn't take any kind of load so for my last i have done four sets of it by the way uh, eight to ten repetition target with 60 seconds break in between for my last set i loaded a little bit heavier i tried 25 kilos i was able to get four to five repetitions i think and i and my left leg was a bit hurting i i also noticed a little bit of hip shift so i said okay that's enough for today in terms of quads and also i was feeling a bit tired by now because how my upset stomach didn't let me eat properly for the last two days for my next exercise i'm going to do seated hamstring curls four sets 12 repetitions again a slight variation here i'm going to do one leg at a time alternative so again i'm going to show you how anatomically this hamstring muscle is working by just showing you one of the hamstring muscles so here as you can see as my leg curls how the muscle contracts so that's exactly the motion which is happening right now while i'm doing one leg at a time or both the legs even if you're doing this lying down it's the same motion i'm only showing you one muscle there are multiple hamstring muscles right uh, you know which you have so just one muscle to actually uh, explain you how it works you can do this alternative method for the first two sets what i have done is i have done the alternative leg method wherein i have chosen a challenging weight for one leg and did it one at a time and once i reached the 12 repetition mark i have pulled out another four repetitions using both my legs so basically you can consider this like a drop set so quite effective good amount of uh, contractions which i was able to gain for my last two sets i've used both my legs but this time i made sure that the load which i put on them was twice the amount of load of my first two sets because in the first two sets i was working with one leg so if i'm working with two legs i should be able to load twice the amount of weight and that's what i have done for my next exercise i chose to do seated calf raises here i'm using a smith machine to do this particular exercise if you do have a seated calf raise machine please do use that it's unnecessary to go through all this hassle of setup i don't so i'm using this particular setup by placing a step up box then putting my legs under the smith bar along with some cushioning heavy load and start doing the calf raises now I, as i tried to do as many repetitions as possible in the second set my legs started to hurt so i had to just 
you know double fold the cushioning just to ensure my thigh thighs don't hurt so this is one of those challenges while you try to load heavier on this kind of a setup i tried to do three sets 15 to 20 repetitions the first two sets went pretty well but while doing the third set which you can see right now i failed pretty quickly i was not able to push more repetitions so i immediately dropped my feet on the ground and tried to get couple more repetitions without any height just basic calf raises on the floor flat out and after which also I was not able to move much of weight so I chose to just stop it there because I was tired <laughs> and I think uh, that was it for me today in terms of exercising so to finish up uh, we are going to do our stretches 20 second hold firstly I am going to do my hamstring stretches and again on my left leg I was struggling a bit to get the stretch as you can see on my right leg I had great amount of flexibility so I was able to stretch properly so I would need to do an overall massage of my left leg to release any all the tightness which it is surrounded with right now make sure you hold it for 20 seconds to feel the stretch again thank you so much for watching the video if you did like this video and felt the F a workout was effective do drop a like if you have any feedback please do drop a comment i will respond to every comment and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would really appreciate you doing that gives me a lot of positive feedback for my quad stretch i'm doing a little bit of variation of what what we usually do here i'm using a smith machine to push myself into a deep stretch again the positioning of my leg is absolutely same like we do always making sure my heels touch my glutes and stand as straight as possible but here i'm trying to go a little bit back to get that extra bit of stretch on my quads especially my left quad because there's definitely tightness there and i can't now take my mind off it i have to figure out why did the tightness come in its first place and why is it not going any sooner it could be many reasons it might, it might be the long seating times at my workspace or the i ride a two-wheeler so maybe the amount of time i spend on my two-wheeler sitting down could be many reasons but we are going to get to the root cause of it that's it for today thank you so much for joining me again if you did like the video please do drop a like yes today's workout is a little bit short not very intense because it's one of those days when i was not at my highest level of energy but i did try to get as much as possible we got all we worked on our, all our three mu major muscles in our legs our calves our hamstrings and our quads uh, while working our hamstrings our glutes also did work there a little bit again thank you so much and have a good day